St. Joseph continues to flirt with those sub-zero temperatures. The lack of warming centers across the city has become evident, and these are due to COVID-19 restrictions. KQ2's Mitchell River all speaking with staff at one shelter who are trying to do as much as they can despite pandemic guidelines. A dangerous drop in temperatures is making it crucial for the homeless to find places to stay warm. Like you don't get time to not think because you're kind of in survival mode. It's not just the extreme cold taking a toll on them. COVID is not making it any easier. It shut down all the um, warming centers. So there used to be two to three down here in downtown because this is where our main pri like prioritization is of homeless. And so it used to have the library. We used to have the bus stop. We used to have the post office. Um, COVID hit, everything shut down. Places like Community Mission in St. Joseph are trying to help. Their shelter is only available to men who qualify, but they're prepared to open their winter shelter if more people out in the cold choose to come inside. We are doing in uh, collaboration with the Community Action Partnership Shelter is if they hit their capacity, uh, then we, and they have more people who need to come in out of the weather, we will open up the cold weather shelter uh, for about six, seven men. They say a recent city ordinance banning public camping, sparked by complaints of homeless people sleeping under bridges, makes it harder to find those who need the help. Well, a lot of our folks are hard to find, um, so a lot of them are scattered more inward into towards the city. So they're not going to naturally gravitate back to this area. They're going to stay wherever they've found it safe and warm to go. If you can't keep an animal outside, you shouldn't be keeping people outside either. Reporting in St. Joseph, Mitchell Ribrall, KQ2 News. While the community mission only shelters men who meet their guidelines, they do give out masks and winter gloves to anyone else who is in need.